Okay, I'm going to play some more Caves of Cud. I really like this game. There's been a new update. I think it was dropped a couple days ago. It's the... Well, it added quite a bit of new things. I have to do a new game because... I can't, it's not compatible with the old version. That's fine. I like starting new characters anyway. So we'll go... There are many ways of playing Cud. I normally play Classic. You can do role play, it gives you checkpoints, so it's it's a way of easing into the primitive aspect of a roguelike game. You can wander. No XP for kills. I, uh, I, I just... I have difficulty wrapping my, round, my mind around this. What? You can play this way if you want. And you can do a daily, which is probably even harder. <laughs> we'll do Classic. And character creation. This is very cool. It's uh, one of the unique things about Cut is how unique of a character you can create. I don't do presets. I mean, if you're new, maybe you could do that. We won't need them. Because I'll show you to make a character. Random, feeling bold. Library. Okay, so you could pre-build characters and then just select one if you want. And your last. I'm not going to do last because it was on a previous version of the game. I don't want things to mess up. Besides, I want to go through the character creation again. I can be a bird man or true kin. So, mutated human. Remember, this is far, 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 far flung science fantasy distant future stuff. And you can be a mutant, which I think is the most interesting way. Be an X-Man, right? A literally X-Man, kind of, sort of, because you're no longer... Well, you're kind of human, right? So, eh. Or you can be Trukin, Cybernetics. Higher skills, include rebuke robots, because you're fully human. Or you mutate. Mutant. I mean, apostate. You get bonuses. Ego is really powerful in this. Gives you lots of uh, deals with sh vendors and such. Money is actually the currency in this game. Uh, money is the currency, Dura. <laughs> wow. Water is the currency in this game. Yes, money is a currency, but water is. It's, it's, yeah, you'll see. Customs, folklore, intimidation, process size. You can make people follow you. Mm, what are we going to do? Graybeard? I don't want to look like that. Cludgels. I'm calloused. I'm good at bears, because I am a bear, I guess. Gunsling. I'm not feeling a Kimbo. Pistol's cool, but I'm not feeling it. Marauder. I think I did the Marauder last time. The Pilgrim. Fasting way is very nice. You consume less water, because you need water to survive. Nomad? I think I did Nomad. The Ishikari tribe. You start with... You like Dune? Here's what you want. Be the Nomad. Recycling suit. You'll consume less water. Scholar. Mm, tinkering. Not bad. Heal. I don't think I'm going to need heal, though. And it can be a Tinker, who's even better at tinkering. Or more of a tech focus, as opposed to more of a, a science-y skill focus. Lore focus. The Warden. Water Merchant. <laughs> He's just carrying a giant camel pack of water. A water vine farmer. There's a lot of options. I, I want to do something different. Like, I've done the four-armed mutant, or more mutated uh, Goro kind of character who runs around cutting things up. Uh, who was fast. I've done the kind of fire guy. I lean back and roast things. We'll do ice, I think, this time. Warden. But it's good to not build around one thing specifically. I always have a backup, right? You should always have a ranged weapon. And if you have, have an option, you can do up close if you need to. Uh, Nomad. I did Nomad last. I'll be a Pilgrim, I think. Willpower. Okay. Iron Mind. Okay. Confirm that. And here is the screen. This is the screen. So, 12 points. Hmm. I can be a Chimera. This means I'm only going to manifest physical mutations. Or an Esper. You know, I should do Esper. I haven't done Esper run. Uh. Well, that means that locks off regeneration, though. You will only manifest mental mutation. So you're going to appear humanish, like, like Xavier kind of thing, Professor Xavier, or Jean Grey. You're not going to look like the beast or anything. And all mutation choices when manifesting a new mutation are mental. Now I can't pick regeneration, though. Regeneration is, is incredible in this game because you can pick up permanent afflictions. So I heal very quickly. Although it's it's less vital because... Food, food's a thing, but you don't have to eat. You just you use water. I think I won't take regeneration. E e limbs, yeah. Axes can take limbs, so I won't do regeneration. Okay. Which means I also can't do triple jointed. <laughs> yeah. That, th there you go. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. I can't do two-headed. <laughs> Two-hearted. <laughs> we'll do the mental stuff. Unstable genome I really like, though, too. You gain one extra mutation each time you pick this, but the mutations don't manifest right away. So when you gain a level of 33% chance, 33.3333, so it's eventually going to trigger, that your genome destabilizes and you get to choose from three. I like its unstable genome. One extra mutation each time you buy this. 
Oh, I can... Oh, is that Chinoo? That you can triple stack it? I don't think I want to do that. Let's delete that. We'll do Esper. One extra mutation each time you buy this. I'll take one. Three. And it'll be random and pick up three. So it's a bit of a gamble. But I do want enough to actually shape my character as well. So this is a way of doing kind of some random run anyway. See what we're going to get. So it's showing me physical mutations. If I don't need to see those, just to tease me. So Freezing Ray. That's what I was thinking I'd do, but no. That's like your project... You I don't know, you have some kind of physical manifestation, like cryo glands in your hand, you can just emit it. So you're not doing like, like, mind stuff with it. Oh, there's also defects. If you're coming from like a fallout system, something quarks, <laughs> and that you have an irritable genome. Ooh, can I take that? Nope, nope, because I'm an esper. Your, you know, your genome is irritable and unpredictable. Whenever you spend a mutation point, the next mutation point you gain. That's actually really cool, but no, I'm not going physical this time, so I can't take it. Nerve poppy. Nerve Puppy's cool. I'd, I'd like to take that, too. I mean, I'm fine with general states of health. I mean, if I get below 50%, you can roughly tell what that is. You know? Start being careful. Mentals. Beguile. So I can I can get a little minion here. Ego. So I'm gonna, if I'm going to go Esper, I need Ego. I'm going to need Ego. I don't think I chose a race, uh, a start with boosting Ego, but that's fine. You don't have to be hyper-specialist. Clairvorency's cool. Because I can look around corners with it, literally. Confusion sounds awesome. Afflicted creatures act semi-randomly and receive a minus three penalty to their mentals. So I could confuse them and hit them with something else. Disintegration. I can blow through walls. You're exhausted for three rounds, so that could kill me. 75 rounds, I'm probably only going to get that off once. And if that doesn't kill them... To non-structural objects, I guess they have a will, they can resist it. But 1d100 plus 20, it can blow through walls, literally. Domination. So literally, I can just take control of them. But this can be dangerous because my own body is prone. And I like hide in a corner and do that. It's not really my thing. Ego projection is really cool. I just boost my stat like a monk or something. Augment one physical ability by amount equal to twice your ego bonus. I like ego projection a lot. A lot of people will take force bubble and force wall. Force wall is pretty cool because it's in a mobile force field. And I can fire missiles through it. So it works very well with a ranged build. Or I can put one directly around me. Three by three centered around yourself. So this will move with me, and the force wall will not. I'm trying to see what lasts longer duration. The wall lasts longer, and also lets me escape, whereas force bubble will not let me escape. And the wall's cheaper. Kindle, you can ignite small fires with your mind. Hmm. Light manipulation is probably the most common ego mental thing you take, you pretty much you're firing laser beams. You're Cyclops. Little Cyclops. And you also produce light. So you're not going to need a torch. Precognition's awesome. It lets you kind of like almost get like a save load thing. So you can be more risky when you play. Mm. Pyrokinesis. No, we did fire last time. Space-time vortex. Huh. Summons a vortex swallows everything. Blow through walls with that. Rip through things. I could do that. Stunning force. You invoke a concussive force in nearby area, throwing back enemies and stunning them. Hmm. That's pretty cool. It's a big ability though. Cooldown 50 round, 50 turns. So it's not it's not like something you can spam. Telepathy. Hmm. So I can order my minions around easier. Time dilation. I've been playing with this a bit. Oh, that's temple fungus. Fungus. Temple fuse. Sorry. You quickly move back and forth through time, creating multiple copies of yourself. Again, that's that's a big boy ability, right? So you drop that, you rest. You drop that, you rest. They catch you and that's off. Could be an issue. Time dilation is awesome, though. I distort time around me and attempt to slow down my enemies within nine tiles. So it's a tile-based system. Are slow depending on how close they are to me. No save. Interesting. But... Remember, I need I need an ability I can use, uh, an offensive ability. Uh, cool down 50, ignite fire with my mind. Like I can ignite where, they, where they're standing, and probably light them on fire. But that's it. Cryokinesis, I chill near my area with my mind. Let's see, damage is see the area is huge, but look at the cooldown, 50, and you compare that to say freeze ray cooldown 20, 1d3 plus one, versus what was it? Wish it wish had like a color to it, like ice. So this hits an area. Hmm. 
Cryokinesis is pretty cool. I don't have to worry about igniting things too much. I, th I wonder if that cooldown would decrease as I get better at it. Probably. Confusion sounds solid. Clairvoyance? Uh. Siphon Vim. I'm like sucking their, <laughs> their energy away. That's again, long cooldown. But it's 1 HP per round. And I'm just, n n I'm just pulling their, their life energy out of them. Sunder their mind. This might be what I need. Again, look at that cooldown. 80 rounds. For 10 rounds, you engage in psychic combat with an opponent, dealing damage each turn. Taking an action other than this will break the connection, so I'm maintaining this. I'm hiding in a corner doing this, probably. I wonder if you could scry and fry. Do like a... You probably can't have seen it mentioned. Do a clairvoyance and then sunder mind. But again, I'm, I'm vulnerable while I'm doing that. You deal one bonus damage. That's kind of... I prefer to meet my enemies and crush them face to face. With my mind, but still. Mass mind, steal power from other espers. Hmm. Cooldowns is not affected by willpower. Refreshes all mutations, so I could I could use this, use all my long abilities, and then use that and get them again. Ah, what do I want? I kind of like the idea of just pushed away and dealt crushing damage up to three increments. Hmm. I want force wall. I think that can just blast them, right? And then I need something I can do to them. <coughs> Sorry. When they're not when they're away from me. Temporal dilation sounds nice. It's going faster. Mm. Force wall. You can fire missile weapons to this. This is making me a ranged kind of build. Precognition. I'm spending too long on these. I'm, I'm just overwhelmed by the potentials almost. Teleportation. Mm. I only have five points left. Time dilation is awesome. Force wall and cryokinesis. Okay, that's it. And then we go... Oh, what did space do? <laughs> thanks, thanks. Okay. So, we'll do Esper Chimera. It's four. And then Force Wall. And... Well, you know, should we do Force Wall? Force Wall is pretty cool. I think I might need it. And and Cryokinesis. Okay, and then we go... Right over there. It's like, where, where, where are we going? It's over there. And then here we go, my stats. Okay, now. It will tell you. Strength. Strength's good. You can carry more goodies. You hit harder. And your ability to resist force move. You know, I have a force wall. I'm not really feeling that. Agility, I am feeling. I don't like negatives anyway, but... It affects your accuracy of both melee, remember that, and ranged weapons, and your ability to dodge attacks. I don't regenerate, so... And then toughness, I can't take a negative toughness. D&D has taught me never do that. Especially if you're alone. Hit points, natural healing rate, ability to resist poison, disease. I don't want to die to that. Don't want to pick up any of those. I like skill points. I don't like playing characters without skill points. A lot of points. Willpower modifies the cooldown of your activated abilities. We want some wisdom. Determines your ability to resist mental attacks and modifies your natural healing rate. Your will to keep going. And ego determines the potency of your mental mutations. We want this. Your ability to haggle with merchants and your ability to dominate the will of other creatures. I want some ego. And toughness. How right, can I get it? I can get pretty high. And to see, so we're starting to spend a little more. So I don't like spending. It's only a plus one. Uh. Oh, I get a I get a wisdom bonus. Good, good, good. So we'll do that. Uh. See, it's once you go above eighteen, it starts cost starts costing a bit more. There we go, and... Hmm. Ha! There we go, that's pretty good, I like that. I'm a pilgrim. That's why I got a wisdom bonus. I'm a mutated human, yep, so I'm not going to be able to do cybernetics. I'm an esper, so I'm going to have some kind of psychic glimmer. Okay, yeah, we'll say build to library, yeah. Name this build... Esper 1. Why not? And next. I will name the character, sure. Yeah. Espers are cool because you know crowd kinesis. They are cool. And where do I start? Hmm. I'm an Esper. I have a bloodstained neck ring. I'm not gonna start in Yopa. It's not a bad idea to start in Yopa if you're new, but I've done it too many times. I like I like new things. That's the default start. Hmm. Salt vine village. So this is a salt marsh village. It isn't Yopa. Again, it's too similar to Yopa. We just have some caucasins. 
Ishihari Banner and the Salt Dunes. Salt Dunes is... Uh, that's, that's risky. You can see cra there are salt krakens out there, you know, and that's, that, that's a cause of concern. We are recording, right? I tend to lose track. Uh, Desert Canyon. You know, oof. I mean, they're like hill tribe. There are, there are desert raiders with, with rifles, and I don't want to be shot down. Yeah, I'll do a desert canyon. That sounds fun. I'll be in the canyon. It's loading. It's generating the map. Very nice. Good job, Kai. I embark on the case. My quest for Jersey. On the case. So cut. Yes. Yep. On the fifth. Uh, okay. I'm in the village of Tamarish. Uh huh. Yep. The standard thingy. Cool. I'm here. That's me there. I have I for inventory. This is what I actually have in my bag. I have fresh water. That's my money member and what I actually need to survive. I have wine. That's a trade good. I can also use it to mix things. I have food. I have 12 torches and which would bark, which I think was recently changed. So I can arrow over and then enter. Time about it. It heals and confuses when eaten. Lich lichen sticks in the winding grooves of woodshed, shimmering and smelling of spice. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe it is spice. Cool. So you can move the numpad if you'd like. I can actually, what's it, L? I think I might have mapped L. It's a painting. Oil wets the linen. Okay, so that's gonna, can I interact with it? Space bar. And I can point, point in a direction, no, I can't interact with it. Who's that guy? I can look at him. He's a pig farmer. Okay, so I space bar, interact with him to north, so eight work talk to the random dude he's in the northwest live and drink friend all right this is his house i just kind of spawned here he i, I guess i was like right in a room from the pig farmer that's cool can i just place him yeah he's like get out of my house let's look at this who owns this what if i space bar five at my position mm, no we will not do that i could be shady and shut the door and do it but i'm gonna be a nice guy nice esper not gonna take from these people's let me stay in their house. They're gonna be, they're gonna be nice, right? You can also X and see my character. Oh my god, my strength is trash. <laughs> I should have done something about that. Oops. <laughs> uh, well, that's okay. That's okay. Oh no. All right, maybe mind of a matter. I can boost strength. I could probably do that. Active effects. Esper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You only manifest mental mutations. That's right. I can buy... I can't. I have 18 hit points. Remember, 18 hit points. That's not many. Level 1 is extremely squishy. <laughs> what else can I do? Uh, e. E is what I'm equipped it with. Oh, it feels so weird to only have... I have, like, two hands. Ugh. I will extinguish that torch. I don't need that burning at the moment. Don't deplete it. I have sandals. I have a cloth robe. I have an armor value of 1. <laughs> a dodge value of 7. Mental armor of 6. What is that? A folding cot. I know what that is. Okay, that's cool. That's a hammock. I mean, you could take from these people, but I'm not going to. I can transition over to the screen to the right, but I need to find a quest. And I'll get some XP. Is that? That's a witchwood tree, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It, there's nothing on it, though. Another witchwood tree. What is that, water? That is salty water. Don't drink salty water. Any... Am I getting lucky find something? <laughs> a literal pile of money? No, I'm not. You can attack those walls if you like. And smash through them. I don't need to now. But I could do... Ooh, why is there a throne? The ornamentation of etched metal and precious stones designate the axis of Mondanus. You sit down on the throne. Okay. <laughs> I haven't seen a throne in the game before. That's pretty cool. Hello, who are you? You're someone. The apple farmer's daughter. Okay, she's docile. She has a short bow. I don't have a short bow. Do you have work that needs doing? She's just telling me about that. Okay. Do anything else we can say to you? She'll trade with me. She has apples and arrows. I have pretty much nothing. I have a book or something. What is that? Eta and the Earthlings. Okay. It's a book. I'm literate. Literacy. <laughs> okay. So this is all procedurally generated here. I can also move with the mouse if I wish. There's also an auto-explore. 
I will use it sometimes. Which I play a lot of roguelikes and I forget what the actual command is of this one. What is that? Clay jugs of fresh water. I could take, I'm not going to take that. I could. I'm not going to. Who are you? Are you the apple farmer's daughter? Yeah, she is. What else can I do? All right. Push. K is tinkering. P is my skills and powers. Again, this is intelligence. If you were a true kin, you'd have more of these. I have no points. I can look at what I might want. Lion, I have iron mind. I start with that. Each round I'm confused. I have a willpower minus 10% chance to shake off the effect. That's really good. Fasting way. So I hunger and thirst at less. The normal rate. Metabolic effects from meals last twice as long. That's really good. because you, you, you don't have to eat in this game. Not really, because you can just eat for free. I mean, you, you have to eat, but you can just... You rest, and you can just eat for nothing. He gathers, like, random stuff and eats it. But there's food you can eat, actual proper food you craft, that gives you really good stats, so it's worth doing. I do think you should have to find your food manually. What's that? Can I... Ah, oh, there are books here. Now, books tend to sell for quite a bit to the right people. Can I read that? Following is an excerpt of the Travel Diaries of Sandshell. Sometimes you can find things in these books. I don't matter if I'm looking for all these books, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you can find lore. Who are you? You look like someone. It's a village tinkerer. Yeah, he's tough. So he's got a utility vest. He's got a weird artifact. Could be a grenade. Probably a grenade. Or a um, uh, health injector. Okay. Alright, did the tinker do you have anything for me? No. Just that. And that that's the daughter again, right? Alright, so they want me to, Okay. Two people, also to the west. So I'm going to the east, obviously. I can look at those things. A puzzling artifact. Maybe if I study it, I'll get some Can I examine the artifact? The strange furniture is not owned by you, and examining it risks damaging it. <laughs> Let's not do that. Who are you? Pig farmer. Okay, I can. Ooh, what's that? A puzzling artifact. It's probably like a. <laughs> it's a sewing uh, machine, but he doesn't know that. Oh, cool! He passed by the star apple tree. Did I harvest it? Did we harvest it? He might not have the skill necessary to harvest it. It's not right. I think I might have to learn that skill. Let's go find the... He said to the west, right? So, do we what they say? Probably in here. <laughs> Is that? An air well. Stone was carved and shaped into a rough dome with square, even space windows to let air flow. The small difference in the temperature inside the dome causes dew to condense from the air and accumulate in a catch basin below. So it's catching... It's, it's pulling water vapor from the air. It's clever. Anything in here I want? The minute vortex rings of ether. Uh, okay. Where's the dude for the quests? What is that? To do inspect things. You painting? Uh, the catch basin is empty. Is that a harp? <laughs> that is a harp. He doesn't know what it is, though. It is a harp, okay. Oh, there, there's someone. He's all green. I've noticed the green creatures tend to be. Like, they can feed from sunlight. They tend to be plant-like. The village apothecary got work. He did tell me, just tell me something. All right, you want me to find the book tablet at the shelter? It's a holy artifact to us. Yes, I will put something on the wayfaring like book tablet as you ask. Did you see what he mentioned, though? He told me a recipe. Which I probably should have paid a bit more attention to your selected direction. I have the cure for what ails you. No, oh, thank you. Ease the pain out of the brain. Be careful when you chew the witchwood bark. Yeah, we learned about that. You got anything? Yakweed sandals. Copper nuggets. Those are trade goods. More efficient than carrying around giant bins of water. What? Is that a crib? It looks like a crib. Well, yeah, that's the apple farmer's daughter. He's got a lot of daughters. What's with it? That is graffiti on the wall. Hmm. Invertebrate life was sucked of its tissues and blood still of the millions of years. The glacius rock is a necropolis. Graffiti is scratched from the surface. It reads clover, clover. Sometimes you can find graffiti on the walls. 
was that? Graffiti air well. Sometimes you can learn lore looking at the graffiti. What is that? A chalkboard. Okay. The, the update did add quite a few more icons to the game tiles. So sometimes I'm like, ooh, what is that? It's new. I don't see the the, the other dude. All right, Apple Farmer's Daughter, where is he? Is there work? Northwest. Huh? I, I just saw that dude, right? Is that... Okay. To the west. To Shroom Diamond. Who's that? That's a big farm. Oh. Got that, that thing is just in the way. It's a chalkboard just stuffed inside the wall. Okay. There he is. Or she is. She is docile. Zelda was six days still. Yeah. Ceramic amphora. Fresh water. Ooh, it's a money. Good thing I checked that. I just got some lore. So I can trade that for knowledge. So do look at things. Oh, another one. Yay. So we will talk to you. I accept. Do that quest there. No, 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 no. Where, where is the... Hmm. Apple farmer. There she is. With my daughter. Do the water ritual with her. I could. Sure. Reputation increased here with the village. But because some people despise the mysterious strangers. Oh, okay. You swell off inspiration and name your cloth robe. Okay. And name it based on its qualities. You name the cloth robe the freezing vest of Tim Shrift. Choose a color for it. Dark blue. <laughs> oh, this thing ever. Now she can teach me how to cook something. A donut of shredded honey and yuck wheat. And if I get it high enough, I shall also join me. Maybe later. Is it work? She bows down to the vacated aristocracy that you are here, friend. Okay, these people are odd. I have a job. She wants an implant. Why do you want an implant? You're mute. Whatever. She's going to try to use it. I should give me a recoiler, which lets me teleport back here. It's a good, good reward. Mm. Do I want the cooking? Yeah, I'll take it. Why not? Uh, yeah, teach me how to make them the magic donut thing. Thank you. Yeah, get wheat. And... I get... Uh, no, I can't go there. Okay. Where am I? Oh, who are you? That's the warden. Is he impossible? He's the one. If you start messing around the village, he'll come get you. Sometimes there's something wild like a salt kraken. This guy is... He is less wild. I'll buddy up with the warden, too. Uh-huh. So now the wardens like me more. The villagers like the warden because he defends it. Some other village does not like these people. So I think it's at minus... I think 500 they'll attack you? All right. And he doesn't have much because he is just a big snap jaw. And the throne. Let's play his throne. What is that? Hmm. Looks like hookah. Another pig farmer. Painting. Oh, here's the merchant. Okay. Good. I was looking for you. And there's a little oven here I can cook with. So if I were to go space and then check direction, I can make the donut. Ooh, there's a donut there? I'll eat the donut. Ah. I start to metabolize the meal. Remember, I'm going to metabolize for twice as long. I gain the following effects. You only get ill for one-tenth the usual length of time. That's good. And plus three versus diseases. Excellent. So if I go into, like, a fungal area, it's going to be very handy. This is a human camel. A Jomad merchant. I imagine he'd be very effective in the world, but, you know. <laughs> a lot of water is salty. And he can just keep going, right? Weird artifacts on what they are. So I can sell lots of things to this guy. I have, like, 61 money. Remember, my money is drams. Remind you, that's my water. That's why it's showing is empty there, because it's kind of here. Remember that. Don't don't spend all your money, because, you, you know, you can't. I can look at these things, another thing. Look at it. Uh -huh. Okay. Sometimes you can learn things about them. See the colors? Sometimes you can learn lore from items. Elasticine skull cap. Folded carbide. That's higher metal stuff. Boom rose is an explosive arrow. Yeah. I can look at that artifact. It's puzzling. He won't let me fondle it, though, so I can identify it, because it could be like a grenade, <laughs> which would be bad. That would be very bad. Don't do that. Mm. 
See that metal right there? That's a step of steel. See, it deals 1d8. And if you compare it to, say, a regular sharp bronze sword, that's 2 and 1d3. See how much better the metal is? And strength bonus cap of 4, so you can apply up to 4 damage to it, and it's a long blade. Those scale off strength, can get a smooth board gun. Canteens and stuff. Okay. I have, like, no money, and I don't want to spend anything. It's dark in here, remember, I can't see in the dark. I do have a torch. I can't get past the stove. Okay. It's... Is that, is that asphalt? It's a witchwood tree. Okay, I have to... E. I have a stave, huh? It is a quarter saw... Quarter sane witchwood wearing a thousand nooks along its warped length. It's a cudgel. I daze on a crit. That's nice. Let's light this. Ignite. Light. Q. Now I can see. But then they can see me. That's cool here. But it's not so... Can I get over... Okay, there we go. Okay. Who are you? You look like someone. A legendary pig farmer. He is someone. Uh, he's got pig meat. <laughs> okay. And vine wafer. Something else you can do. You can backspace. And then this will reveal everything of interest here. Like, it's not going to reveal, like... Yeah, so it actually will reveal little people. Pig farmers, pig farmers. And I can just say if I click here, it'll instantly travel to it. So real convenience. That's backspace. That's the default command for that. Oh, uh, something I like exploring around manually. Strange furniture. I, you know, you know, I have my limits. So, so if I space bar in front of a sh uh, an open door, I can close it, and then I can, I will examine this strange device. Yeah, make some progress understanding the clock. Ah, I've learned. All right, I figured I could puzzle out looking at a clock without breaking it. Thank God. My character is bright. Uh, yeah, I should be able to... I could probably examine a lot more things. I quite like... <laughs> okay. I'm not going to spoil anything. What's in here? The fa fauna of the meadows. And get any locations. Sometimes you can find locations in those books. Who are you? A zealot. A zealot gets around. Yeah, he does. Remember, you can, this is a eight-direction roguelike, so it's not just north, south, east, west. Some roguelikes are restricted to that. Piety compels you to deliver your sacred relics to the priests of a six-day stilt. Cleanse them of your filth. Yeah, there's a well there, and you suppose they want you to toss artifacts down. I don't intend to do that. Oh, I want that star apple. I don't know how to harvest it, though. <laughs> ah, too bad. Who are you? Oh, the, the ward's watching me. He's like, you were looking at that apple, weren't you? Yes, I was. We're cool, but we're not that cool. Hmm. Show off the commands and the options. Do, do, do. There are many, many options in this game. Tiles. Why would you turn off tiles? You can do so. ASCII! Hello, ASCII! I buy ASCII. <laughs> you can do that if you want. How retro you want it. It's looking. Allow mini map. Yeah, mini maps. Something else you can do is you see the. There's a backslash command. Oh, sorry, it's, it's backslash by the number lock. If you have one of those, you can turn off the the log there. But I recommend leaving it on. What should I do? I J for journal, right? Yeah. Locations I'm aware of, and gossip and lore, chronicles. Those are things I've, that I've done lore-wise. Recipes that I have. And then what it does, I guess. Quests are seven. Sorry. Where, where are you? Quests. So you step away for a little bit, it's easy to forget. Log, yeah, it's, you can look at yourself too. Uh, because they think, oh, I named it. Did I get anything for doing that? No, it just, it just looks cool, I guess. That's nice. You can also screen transition over. Important tip, you can go the, yeah, I was gonna mention this. You can go the world map by pushing shift and arrow, or you can use these buttons up here. I'm gonna return the region. Okay, so here I am over there. Or I can zoom in too, if you like. Maybe I should probably do that more. So you can see a bit more. <laughs> the game is very monochromatic. Literally, it's, it's extremely monochromatic. It's nighttime, see the little moon there? This region is probably still affiliated with the village, because it's still got the village sound going on. 
I don't see very far. Look, pile of debris. If I was, if I had trash, what skill is it actually? P. Show it. Ah, it's somewhere here. Tinkering. If I mm, disassemble, yeah. If I had, well, no, get more things. Scavenger, yeah. When you step over garbage, you astutely rifle through it and occasionally discard scrap. I should probably take that at some point, but I haven't leveled, so I can't do that. So I would just walk over and automatically be able to do something with it. Can't do that yet, though, currently, unfortunately. Wish I could. But I'm still level one. <laughs> Which is, you know, a lot of trash over here. Another man's trash could very well be my treasure. My character's pretty smart. Campfire remains, so something camped here. Did anyone own this? Did you forget? It's not owned by you. You sure you want to take it? I won't. It'll be nice. Someone left it here. I won't go through their stuff. See, morality, it's... Hello, more trash. A lot of, a lot of tack around here. I actually remember. I'll try to remember this is here. So, dog, foreign trees, you can get... Oh, okay, it's probably his. Pig farmer, that's probably his chest. Wish when you looked at it, it would say who owned it. That's steel, huh? I just... Well, I'll, I'll tell you to try to pick it up. Jeep of ground. Was it? Ah, zoom out. There we go. <laughs> Let's look for. I want to look for one thing. Well, I'm minimap to zoom pan. Yeah, you can do, turn that off if you like. Show the minimap if you like. Ugh. So let's, let's turn that off. There, it's a very customizable UI. See, that's the minimap there, yeah. As, as I said, it's there if you want it. I I do not wish to see that. But you can. That. What are we going to for? Automation. Automatically drink water when thirsty. That's good. So you can really customize the game to your extent. To your hearts. Auto pick up for stuff. Prompt. So HP warning threshold. 40%. That's good. That's good. I probably, yeah, that's fine. And you'll change different colors as you get injured. Ah. All the options. Oh my god. Alright, what else are we gonna do? Classic turn mode. Yeah, we'll see if you want it. Options and our. Oh, uh, where is it? Controls. Yeah. <laughs> Control mapping, pre release, use new inputs. Overlay, I'm using the modern. Enable additional overlays. Some people actually play this with a gamepad, which is pretty cool, I think. Well, let's do some exploring. Shift. Or would you like to walk to the nearest stairway down? No, I don't want to do that. I want to shift and the arrow to the left. And see, I'm under the world map. That's where I am. I can look from here. It's an important chip that you can actually look around the map. Rust, the rusted archways. Red Rock. Red Rock was changed quite a bit in this, the Jungle Arc update, which one I'm on now. I might go there. As with the Rust Wells. I get a lot of tech there, but I'm not very tech heavy yet. Honestly, I just kind of want to wander around and get some XP. See that little, that little dog tail thing there? That's what they want me to find. Find that location. That's in the salt dune. It's kind of dangerous. Hmm. Kind of. And this is a six-day stilt up there. I could head there. That's not a bad idea. Just to see it, get some XP. And just try to run from everything. It's not a bad idea. What's that? Don't remember that. Asphalt Mines. Rubble encases this abandoned mine where ancient tribes siphon the black blood for their own scrupulous purposes. Yeah. As you as leave the salt marsh and head up, it gets harder and harder. And the jungles, you know, start getting pretty tough. So do kind of stick around in new newbie area for a while. I recommend, like, the salt marsh is the safest. The hills aren't so bad, the canyons. Just be careful, you can find some, well, like, Equifax horses that will crush you pretty quick. What else? Hmm. Anyway, I'm going to put a little break here. I'm going to play some more. But the video is getting a bit long. This is Caves of Cud by Freehold Games. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Bye.